Hey guys, I'm Bill, and this is Wim Pottery. And this is our first video ever, and I am so excited to get it started. So today, I just want to tell you about how we got started and what are we doing to today that's different from where we were just a couple months ago. So my wife had planned a trip for our family, it's myself, my wife, and my son, to Sundance, Utah for a ski trip. Um, Sundance is a little resort area, so we went out there and uh, found out that we hated skiing. I hate it, my wife hates it, my son even hates it. We don't like it, and that's great. But while we were there, we took this pottery class where we just took a piece of clay and threw it on a, um, a wheel and made something. So I made a little mug, my wife made a bowl, my son made a bowl, and boy, it was just stuck with us. And we were really excited about it and want to learn more about pottery. So we started researching. And, of course, uh, my wife said, hey, I found a couple of really cheap wheels on the Internet. I said, well, you know, cheap is probably what you get. But, hey, you know, it's worth to try it. So we bought, uh, really, two wheels and some bags of clay, which we had no idea what we were doing. Still don't. Either way. This was just two months ago. We sat down, we've got, we got some clay, uh, and just through that little class, we can remember some techniques. So we, we threw together, threw, it up, threw a piece on the wheel, spun it up, made an ugly looking mug or an ugly bowl or whatever, but it was fun and it was enjoyable and we did it together as a family and we all loved it. So that's kind of where we started. Today, we are getting better, but it's only been two months, so we've got a long ways to go, but we love it. I love it. I've become uh, more spiritual through it, just uh, learning and just using my hands and just, uh, I just get away from everything and focus on the clay, so I'm loving this. I sat down, and I decided to sketch on a sheet of paper um, a drawing but what first came to mind was something related to the cross or to Jesus. So I sat down. I said, okay, what am I? I'll just throw some things together and see if I can come up with a neat little symbol or something that I can put on a mug or etch into a mug. So I, first I drew a cross. And then out of nowhere, just something come to mind to put three lines above the cross. And I'll tell you why I thought. Um, but it was a symbol that looked like this, okay? Just a cross with three lines above it. So if you look at this the first time, God can speak to you, and you could see how those three lines represent so many things from the Bible or from his teachings. Um, to me, and I'll tell you now, what came to mind was, okay, it's the cross. And from the cross, Christ is our light. So it's the light that shines. So those three lines to me represented the light that shines from Christ. And then if you go to John 8, 12, you'll see it's, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And if you follow me, you'll never walk in darkness. That's huge. I mean, he is our light. He is everything to us. So that's what shined to me. And that's where... I thought of the three lines. I said, hey, let's make it a light. So three lines come up, and it looks like, but you can look at it. And since then, I've carved in several into several mugs. I've seen so much more. God says, hey, this represents this, this, this. I'm not going to tell you what all he's shown to me, but there's so many things that he can show you that, that represent. So our thought was, we take a mug, all right, and if you're right-handed, so at the bottom in the front of the mug, you'll see a small cross, and that's just a little subtle reminder if you're drinking coffee or tea or whatever, you'll see the cross. It's just a subtle reminder. Now, on the front, though, facing to everyone else will be a cross and three lines. Of course, this would show up better once a glaze is on. So this will point outwards so that when you're out, you're drinking coffee at work or whatever, somebody sees it. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. That's cute. Or 
it, what does it mean? So whatever God is speaking to your heart, even at that time, you can use it as a witnessing tool. So this is, you know, uh, us giving back to try to, to witness to others, to, to, to get the gospel out there. Pottery is, is just something that just, just reaches into your soul and just it makes you one with the clay and just, it's just you become spiritual. I truly believe that. And, and that's why our focus is with the cross and using this as um, a, a witnessing tool. So anyway, we have no idea where it's going to go or where it leads us, but we hope that God leads us and, you know, this becomes a great thing and a great thing that we do for, for God and to praise him and, um, and, and just, and have fun at it. So thank you. Hit the subscribe, like us, all that good stuff. I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't know. Um, but thanks again. <laughs>